Shumagoy Drukatz is the head of not only BMW M Design, but also I Design, and they're debuting this iVision Dynamics. And first thing we've got to talk about, very interesting graphic on the kidney grill. Totally different take on any BMW I've ever seen before. Explain why you're doing this. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the most iconic uh, element on any BMW is of course the kidney. And the kidney was always the grill where you got the air intake for the cooling. And so it's the face of the car. Huh? And I mean, you can see that every company um, yeah, tries to develop something to get the iconic thing. I mean, we had it thanks to our history. And so we try to develop because BMW I stands for the spare head of BMW. So anything, if we take a, if we take a new chance on developing BMW on, it will happen under BMW I. Yeah, because BMW I, the sub-brand we created just to, to give a, a more, um, to have more freedom to, to go to take, uh, take on risky new um, innovation challenges in auto in the car industry. So is it electrification, is it autonomous? And this you have to express also in form language. Form language has to develop also on. We're gonna go through the car, you're gonna see on the, on the DLO some things, but also on the, for example, now the kidney. The kidney was before air intake. Mm -hmm. Now it's the, because you don't need so much air, it's an electric car. And it's steel uh, if you uh, charge it but here it's more important the the sensors you need for autonomous driving so behind uh, uh, a colored pollution less emissions also less uh, less pollution in design yeah? so cleaner design <laughs> so also you don't have a you don't have a mesh for example yeah a mesh w right. which gets dirty of, of insects and everything you know maybe here also but it looks just cleaner and the sensors are all behind so this so do you see also this blue light? The blue stands anyway for BMW i, but in here it's not just graphic. You see it's like lightning and it shows you the intelligence of the car. So, and also the kidney is now connected, which shows again this uh, democratic approach which we have also on the interior. But I like uh, the, the front end. Very simple, very yeah. clean, but some nice little details yeah. that you put yeah. into it as well. Yeah, I mean, because the car, should be very clean yeah? and this is what we want to express because the, the, the BMW i shouldn't just look intelligent or intellectual approach it should have also the emotions and the sexiness which is very important when you buy a car because any choice in if you I mean you spend more money than on a mobile phone yeah? Yeah. and then of course 80% of your decision will be made by emotions and therefore it's very important that this car is not just like clean and expressing a certain modernity, but it has to express also the, the, the value of a premium brand. Because BMW, uh, of course, as a premium brand, has to be defined also by a lot of details, also showing like knowledge about manufacturing and uh, uh, state-of-the-art design. And also one another thing to the kidney I just uh, forgot is also you see their vertical. And this mm -hmm. is but still a link to our heritage. So the car is so modern, but if you, if you take it all away, you can also express more, uh, or you have to keep the link to your heritage, because just this combination of really being modern uh, and uh, heritage will give you like a nice feel, or that you are, I mean, that you don't feel like, oh, I don't understand this anymore. You have still to feel your grandmother and your history of your uh, family to understand all this. Yeah? Let's look at the DLO yeah. because that's one of the most interesting graphics yeah. on this car. And you've gone for a very different shape for the windows here. Yeah, I mean, the idea is you see that uh, BMW had always a very typical front end. We talked about the kidneys, four light headlights, uh, four round headlights, in the rear, the L shape rear lights. But uh, BMW was also very typical on the DLO always because it had a Hofmeister kink. Yeah? Yeah. So this is a very iconic BMW icon. Here on BMW i, we never had, not on the i3 or i8, a Hofmeister kink because it wouldn't make sense because you want to go forward. But still, you want to give it a very iconic. So what makes it a BMW i? At BMW i, there is no history or a little history. So everything you do, you have to create icons. You mm -hmm. can't just take one which is already there, you have to create it. And what we tried here is actually to make a 
in the side a very simple graphic which is actually very technical so you could draw it like a mask so it looks almost like a face the kidney has mm -hmm. also this face so it's not too complicated but you see it you spot it the contrast is very strong and but it's a very um, let's say um, editorial approach yeah like when you have a, a brand yeah? so like a logo mm -hmm. you would see somewhere some pe all the companies they, they need like a identification yeah? you see it also on the wheels they are very graphically they are in the detail very very defined and very yeah, let's say playful mm -hmm. but actually when you go when you make a bigger pro uh, you know when you step back you're gonna just see a quite graphical uh, design and that's the same thing on the DLO and then why is it disconnected here or a little bit this at one side it shows like a, a stream flow yeah, like a, a flow but in a technical way to mm -hmm. show like electrification fluidity mm -hmm. but on the other hand it's if the car is autonomous you you are not just orientating on the around the driver you have a more a democratic approach in the interior. You show like in the rear and in the front when you drive autonomous, it gets the same value. That's right. Yeah? And that's the very interesting the reason. And it's fascinating in trying to convey yeah. that in design yeah. as well. And then the rear again, yeah. very clean, very yeah. simple in a way. Yeah, I mean, so when you stand behind the car, yeah, what we wanted to express is um, every BMW touches you emotionally and so the same thing here but with less lines yeah, with nothing disturbing so you see the lights and the light is also not just before you had always um, lights the box and then you have in the box light tubes and everything so you have a lot of elements to express a light but we want to with BMW i we want to do more with less yeah, so this is the approach less waste everything but in design also imagine you have a strong expression a very strong graphic but just with one light element which is the light is what you see so there is one function and there is the indicator inside there's the brake light it's all one piece mm -hmm. so always the same expression very bold but very reduced in in manufacturing you see also there's no cut because the whole boot actually opens with the tail light so you don't need to cut it. You need you, you, then you normally if you cut it, you need a LED in this element. You need a LED here. Right. So you have four LEDs here. You just need few less because you have. So you have less perturbation or what? How do you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Exactly. That. Uh, of of like a light stopping. Right. It's like a pure, very homogeneous and precious expression, mm -hmm. but with less. So I do more with less. This is actually something which I think is for BMW i the the strongest philosophy. Yeah? Well, fascinating presentation of this car. Very interesting to see where you're taking design with the i-series of vehicles. Thanks so much for walking us around your car. It was a great pleasure. Thank you.